Welcome back. Today, we're talking tomahawks. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, but since the last video, we passed 200 subscribers, so thank you all so much. If you can, like and comment in this video, and remember to subscribe if you liked it. Today, we're talking about tomahawks, tomahawk shades, and tomahawks actually sent me these. So full disclosure, these were sent to me by tomahawk shades. I did not pay for these myself, but I've been using them for about a month now. Took them on a long trip. So I think I know what's going on with them and I will be as unbiased as I possibly can. If I had to compare Tomahawks to anyone, it would probably be Shady Rays just because their model seems to be somewhat similar. Maybe Knock Around, which I have tried. Thank you, uh, commenters, in the last video. But yeah, they're a newer lifestyle sunglasses brand that has a ton of designs, sells sunglasses for around 30 to $70, depending on what you want, what kind of lenses you want, what design, all that stuff. They also make blue light glasses, so if you work in front of computer screens a lot, uh, that's supposed to help your tired eyes. And they also have apparel. The two pair of sunglasses that they sent me were the Hellcats. The other pair they sent me are called the Stonewalls, and these are more of an aviator-inspired style of sunglasses. And these are just plain black lenses with a matte black finish. So as far as fit and finish goes on these sunglasses, it was pretty good. The one thing I noticed right away is that the arms and the frames lined up really well. So when you open and close the hinges, it lines up really well. Um, and it's definitely a good thing on these at least because they have kind of a V-shaped hinge. So if that didn't line up, that would just be all kinds of messed up. Same on the stone walls. The arms and their unfolded line up really well. Everything's pretty flush, and there's really not much to complain about as far as fit and finish goes. In my Shady Rays video, one of the things I said I did not like about those were the hinges. Um, on the Shady Rays, the hinges they didn't seem to line up very well right here. When you would open them, they would be a little out of alignment or whatnot. Uh, and the hinges seemed to just, they would come really tight and then over time they would just get so loose to the point that they would just kind of flop open if I held them like this. The hinges on these guys, which I would say are most similar to the Shady Rays, don't do that. I, I mean, I've had these for a month now. I've worn them and abused them pretty hard, and the hinges are just as solid as the day that they came. So that's nice. They are just a single screw design in the hinge. As far as the stone walls go, they use spring-loaded hinges, which I actually really like. Same reason as before, I love to clip them in, into my shirt. And when they're not spring-loaded, eventually they'll get loose to the point where when you bend over or if you move too quickly, they can just flop out and then you leave your sunglasses on the floor of a grocery store and they're not there when you go back to get them. When I put these on, they fit my face really well. The hinges just kind of hug my head without being too tight and they don't move around when I move my head. Whew. The other benefit, I guess, is that they have some flex outward, which is really nice, especially if you're like me and have a two and a half year old little girl running around and wanting to play with your sunglasses. The Hellcats, on the other hand, while I did find them to be comfortable, they were a little bit tight. When they're on my head, right around like my temple, a little behind between my temple and my ear, they get a little bit tight. I think it's just kind of luck of the draw. My head might just be a little too big for these. That being said, I did wear them for a very long road trip, uh, 14 hours in the car, and I had these on most of the time on the way down, and they never got to the point where they hurt, but they were still comfortable. On the way back up to our house, um, so the other 14 hour drive, I wore the stone walls, and they were great. They were super comfortable. I would basically forget I was wearing them a lot of the times because they're they're very light and as I said before the hinges are just super comfortable. The Hellcats have kind of a blue or green mirror finish depending on how you're looking at them and stone walls just have just kind of a smoky black non-mirrored finish. Hellcats lenses are not polarized um, 
but they're UV, and the stone walls are polarized. Some people prefer lenses that aren't polarized, some people prefer them that are polarized, like myself. It's kind of personal taste, it's not really a pro or con, um, it's actually a good thing that they offer them both ways. Make sure if you are going to buy these, you read the description, and in the lens section, it will say polarized if they're polarized. If it doesn't say it, then they're not. The lenses on the stone walls just basically dim the environment, but everything stayed the same color. The one thing I noticed with these lenses that are tinted and mirrored is that they really changed the color of the environment when I put them on. So basically when I put them on, it looked like I was looking through purple lenses. And of course your eyes adjust. My eyes adjusted after, after a few minutes of having them on. But it is kind of jarring when you first put them on and just everything turns purple. As far as durability goes so far, both have fared pretty well. Um, I did pick up a pretty nasty scratch on the Hellcats somewhere. The only place I can think of is we went walking along the beach. I, I must have gotten sand or something on my sh on my shirt or on the lenses and then wiped them off when I got back in the car or out of the car and they were fogged up or something. That's the only real mark I can see on the lens, so that's good. And the frame seemed to be holding up really well. There's no real, no real wear marks or anything like that. And then the stone walls are doing very well. No scratches on the lenses and no real wear on the body. There is a few parts, I think here, the paint were off a little bit just from me dropping them or doing something dumb, I don't know. But both are holding up pretty well. One more thing to take into consideration if you're buying sunglasses right now, um, this is during the pandemic. Aviators are better with a mask because there's more of a gap. They don't fog up as much. So, conclusion time. What do I think? Um, I actually really like them. I definitely prefer the stone walls or the aviator type more, um, probably for multiple reasons. I'm just more of an aviator guy in general. And the lenses on these are just, in my opinion, a lot better than the ones on the stone walls. I love the hinges. I love how they fit my face. These are my new everyday sunglasses. These are the ones that I throw in my backpack if I'm going to go somewhere. These are the ones that I pick up before I leave the house. They're in my EDC. I pick them up and put them on when I go outside. So yeah, I really do like these sunglasses and I'll probably be wearing them for a while. And they do have basically the same replacement policy that Shady Rays had. If you lose, break, or damage your sunglasses, they will send you a new pair, no questions asked. And really that's kind of what sold Shady Rays for me. So it is something that's really nice to have. Uh, you don't have to worry as much about breaking or losing your sunglasses, which is already less of a worry with something like this than a pair of $150 aviators from Ray-Ban. So are these better than Oakley's or Ray-Ban's? Probably not. I mean, I love the glass lenses on Ray-Ban aviators, but for less than half the price, these are good to go. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. Also, subscribe if you can. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. Again, thank you for helping me reach 200. It's been awesome. I will see you next time.